Welcome to Parents of the Dead. <laughs> that was a change of pace. Well, yeah. it's episode seven. It's the very seventh episode. It, oh, wow. We forgot at last time. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Our streak of berries. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we have hearts. We have hearts. And we're just going to continue from top to bottom. Yeah. In this stuff. Yep. Let's do it. And the next stuff to render are some dice. Yeah. So um, we're going back to our game and we're going to add some dice. Yeah. And um, okay, I'm I'm going to start having the dice just set to a... If the game is going to be anything interesting at all, mm -hmm. I think the dice might have to be random somehow. <laughs> Possibly, <laughs> possibly random, yeah. But I'm going to just start doing add dice. Yeah. And we can later look at some random stuff. Yeah. So while you type that out, I'll ask you a question. Okay. So this is a set of initial events, the things that happen to put the game in its initial state. Yeah, there are events, yeah. Yeah. Add dice. Is that something that happened? Um, no, it's, it's more like um, a command. It's, it sounds more like a command. Yeah, that's right. So this is going to be added yeah, dice because, were added. Like yeah, because we dice. will have commands as well, and one command might produce multiple events. That's true. Yeah, so okay. it's better to separate them. Yeah, it should be add the zombie as well. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to just, uh, well, let's do that very quickly. Add yeah. a zombie here. Mm -hmm. And then there's the off actionizer. Actionizer. So we have um, add, add, add zombie. Wow! <laughs> You don't need one password for this. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> added zombie like this and, and added zombie like this. Um, is this still allowed to be called add zombie? Yeah, because this is a uh, this is our implementation of what's what, what to do when a zombie to, was added. You're yeah. supposed to add the zombie to the UI as well. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. Yeah. This is not an event. This is a function. Cool. Um, I'm yeah still yeah. adding a zombie. And set player health already is. Because of peculiarities of the English language. Yeah. That worked. Excellent. Excellent. So now we have added dice, and I'm going to add, okay, just one. One for now, okay. Because uh, when we have like five dice, which the game is supposed to have, mm -hmm. I want them in a function somehow. I'm yeah. I'm just going to type it out now. Yeah. So the dice has some faces. Mm hmm. And the faces, and I'll try to do this from memory, is punch to punch a zombie. Mm -hmm. And then there's heal to mm -hmm. get, gain, regain some health. And then there's shields, uh, which will shield you from upcoming attacks. And that gives you two shields. Yeah. yeah. And then there's a shovel, which mm -hmm. you will use to dig around for uh, loot. Mm -hmm. And then there's punches. Two punches. Two punches. punches. Mm -hmm. And then there's the skull that does nothing. Hmm. Um, so these are the phases of the dice. And, and then one die has to be on. Some it. phase, yeah, yeah. So there's a current phase. Current phase. Uh, which might be like uh, the second, uh, the the third. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's a good idea to use an index here, not the keyword, because if you use a keyword, it will be impossible to have one die with the same face on multiple sides. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Uh, very, very astute observation. <laughs> Um, so I think this is what we need to render a die. Yeah. Um, I will. Uh, I think so you, you can try a new error handling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, wow, that's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to write the test. I know we haven't been properly switching around action eyes. Add the dice. Yeah. And I will also rename this to added zombie. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm typing a skew because I haven't moved the computer. No. Let's try it. Do it right. So, one event, too many actions, added dice. Mm -hmm. I will try and get it all in one line. And I expect, so what do I expect at this point? A search in something, something? Yeah, so mm -hmm. there's some dice, dice, and what? I think maybe it needs an ID. Yeah. So die one. Die one. Um, so some dice, die one is, yeah, this. 
I think. Yeah, it yeah. needs the faces, needs the current face. It doesn't really need the ID, perhaps. Yeah. And the reason we need all the faces is because we're going to render the die like a three-dimensional object. So you yeah. want to see them. That's right. Yeah. I think this is enough. Um, here you go, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, so we'll go over in... Not Cactionizer, but Actionizer. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And then added dice. So I want to keep this alphabetized. Always. <laughs> Always. Please alphabetize it. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's my favorite Mitch Hedberg joke. Mm -hmm. um, it's a added dice. No, it's then, dice. It's still dice. Yeah, yeah right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then I'll call it add dice. Yeah, for symmetry. This is what I will do with it. Mm -hmm. I like this. Um, okay, and then it does a search in. Okay, so I have to loop over them somehow. For die. In, oh, hmm. Why? It's, <laughs> why? It's stuck in your brain now. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had this. So I want to say um, dice, ID, die, and then just die. Yeah. That's a lot of dying for a zombie screencast. <laughs> <coughs> And this is... Uh, it's uh, double. You, um, yeah, okay. You need, you need four cats. Um, no. no, I don't need no, four cats. I just don't, uh, don't need to four and double it. Mm -hmm. And Okay, so there is surrender gone. it. Yeah. yeah. I'll, um, where did my dom structure go? Maybe it was killed? Or even deleted. Hmm. Um... Yeah, it's in cheats. Ah. One more cheats dumb structure. Here we go. Okay, components. Um, and then we have um, dice row. Dice row. That's under here. Actually, I rendered the hearts, so you'll get the pleasure of rendering the dice row, sir. Okay. Yes, yes, I will do so. Let's see if we can find it. Dice row mm -hmm. down here. Okay, so there's a die with lock. So they're supposed to be locks, but not right now, I think. No. Die with lock. And there is, we're already at per die, so I'm going to do die dice. Mm -hmm. Eventually, maybe we don't want to render everything in the same function, but I guess it's, it's good enough for now. Yeah. So this is a map, so I'm going to do vals. I learned that last time. <laughs> and uh, oh look it's die spacing between dice I love it because mm -hmm. it gives me an excellent opportunity for inter pose, pose. yes and we're going to do div dice spacing between oh this is beautiful so if you haven't used interpose it's like a string join except for a data structure mm -hmm. it's just a so here's the die with lock it's supposed to have a die in it and uh, it has class name, entering, rolling, and so on. Let's do that. We don't have that information, so we'll we'll do that later. We'll need to refine our backend. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will maybe prematurely do class status of the die, so we can. Wow. Because this, I think, premature is a status. Premature optimization. A premature uh, <laughs> un yeah. yeah. Premature uh, feature implementation. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so there is a cube, mm -hmm. and it says either entering or roll, mm -hmm. and some numbers. So this is to support the animation, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. So let's just uh, skip it for now. We can skip it. Um, yeah. Sure, uh, it won't be Ooh. facing the right way, but that's okay. Uh, ah. <laughs> we are going to need some faces or face faces in the die. Mm -hmm. And oh, look, here are the things that I. And yeah, okay, of course. Um, I'm going to do a div, and it's going to have a face. You need a number. A class. I need a number as well. So you can uh, you can do um, map indexed. Yeah, or you can use a four, but just do map around faces and then add a range, and then do map vector. That I'm 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 confused. I'm going to do <laughs> okay. map indexed, and I'm going to get an index and a face mm. of the faces on the die, and. Something like this. And yeah, let's uh, try and split this into multiple components at some point. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Yeah. Yeah. So now we have a class, and we're going to have the class face and the number. Mm -hmm. And we have to have the class the face of the die, which is just this is just face. It's just face. It's just face. Yep. Excellent. I think this is enough to see something. Let's try it. Let's try. Oh. <laughs> That's a whole lot of parents. This yeah, is this parody. is why people are afraid of lisps. <laughs> but the thing is, once you're using parrot, it doesn't uh, you really don't, matter. You don't yeah. see them anymore. Yes, yeah, so this isn't facing, or, or is it facing the right way? Let's take a look. Uh, I think in game, I just said you should have phase two, which is shields. Shields. So it, it's the wrong way. So. But we need some more. Uh, we need some more data. Uh, we can do entering mm -hmm. uh, right now, just to get it turned to the right face. Okay. So there's. Entering and current face on the die. Look at it go. <laughs> pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, <that was> nice. <laughs> um, but yeah. What? Uh, we need more dice and we need them to roll when they enter. Agreed. And next time we will do all those cool things. Yeah, I agree. So it's time this for... Is, uh, this is our DICE MVP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. And it even rolled it so, even somehow. Rolled. Yeah, yeah, Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Well, see you next week. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.